Hello world, welcome to another vlog and also welcome to Sunny Banchang. And today's vlog will be all about cafe hopping and food tripping. Mm -hmm. So we are going to take you guys on the five different restaurants and cafes that we can recommend if you come over to Banchang so that you will have an idea where to go and what you will be eating. So come on, join us! Guys, Ivory and Indigo is only a sweets and pastries and green shop. Mm -hmm. So there's no food here, but you can surely order scones like we do. And there's a loads of cakes that you would ever imagine that there's loads, but of course today we did not have cake. Right. Because this one is our favorite, the scones. <laughs> and they have the jam, the strawberry jam. So it's really good, guys. And this is a cafe that we normally go to every Thursday lunchtime mm -hmm. after school because we want to unwind here and go back to school and be refreshed. Yeah, just to make it like a little bit uh, new like, environment for the, yeah. for the whole week. Just to break the you know the daily routine. Yeah. So it's a good place and it's not far away from our working place. Yes. Okay, so what did you order, Richie? Um basically this is my favorite here. It's Green. orange and matcha, right? Orange matcha. And what do you have? Mine is mocha, so this is not sweet, this is uh, less sweet. Mm -hmm. So no sugar, normally no sugar. Yes, so Excellent. that's what we're having. I'll have fun! Watching us eat our scones. <laughs> Comfortable enough that you can have your tea afternoon in here with friends, but I suggest you come um, sometime before the rush hour. Rush hour, guys, is like 12 to 1 because the company people from Mataput and the nearby airport uh, offices are here normally. So, yeah. We like this cafe because it has a minimal vibe with a palette of nude and wood. So if you come over, you will notice that the decoration is just uh, very simple, like this wooden table and this uh, brick. I think this one is a cement. Yeah, that you can come over here and you can talk with your friends. Very minimal people. So we like it here. has three different um, locations guys and this one is just beside the Sukhumvit Road just in front of the PTT station so you will hear cars if you are over there but this one is a good location because uh, people from all over the town can come here and it's straightforward you can just see that on the left or right side wherever you come from on the road and then there's one inside the mall Lemtong, what was that mall? Robinson's Mall here in Banchang and yeah. the Open Mall. That's also one of our favorite in the second floor. And the last one is inside the community in the rural area near the mountains here in Banchang. So that's also a good place to just chill and relax. How is it there? Coconut banana. Banana? Yeah, with um, choco. Uh huh. How is it? It's good. good. Okay. More, more on the banana side. All right. The choco side. Can you try this bread? Okay. It looks like this is oh, uh, fresh. Have, have you tried it before? Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Yeah, it's newly baked. Newly baked. Good? Good. Crunchy. How's your matcha latte? 
well, it's always very good. And this is one of my favorite here in Yukon. So if you are here, please order this. And you will not going to disappoint you because this is a really good one. Welcome to the lobby, guys. So this restaurant slash cafe is actually good when it comes to interior design because it's um, it's like a house, like a wooden tie house. That's the concept. So the bar is in the middle of the restaurant, and all the diners are just seated in on the side and that side there. But it has a nice, cozy ambience. It's made of wood. So that's why we like wooden houses, right? Mm -hmm. So this restaurant and cafe, guys, is like a two-minute drive from the Sukhumvit Road coming to here. It's just very near Tesco's. So actually, you can just walk from Tesco to here. Mm -hmm. So come visit this place. This is a really good place to be having your dinner. So by the way, if you're new to this channel, I would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Richie and my wife's name is Michelle. We are Filipinos. Uh, stay in Thailand for quite a while now and we are vloggers based in Thailand as well so if you are new to this channel I would like to ask to like and subscribe to this channel and if you like this video please share it so that it will be a good help for a big help for our channel to be honest So what I ordered guys is a tomato spaghetti with spinach, garlic spinach. So this one tastes like the Philippines where we kind of like want our spaghetti to be sweet but a little bit sour at the same time. So I like it and the service is fast and it's very yummy and good. So the menu offered here guys will be more international but more focused on Japan because they have a sushi bar and they have like Japanese food but you can still order your steaks there's a lot of them and your Thai cuisine so uh, if you are a picky eater you have a lot of choices coming here and especially if you're a vegetarian they also have vegetarian menus where you can just choose if you want salad or if you want something vegetable type. Welcome to Buwa Terrace Cafe. So this one is an eco-friendly cafe and restaurant because you will notice later on when we go in. So let's go and have lunch. this place guys because mm -hmm. it is eco-friendly with all the bamboo materials and all the wood things all around you it feels like home back in the Philippines but anyway the service was good the mm -hmm. food presentation was also good that's right and the place itself has a good vibe like a farmish vibe mm -hmm. so we kind of like relate to it yeah. and uh, this place is actually situated in the middle of the farm yeah, so it's amazing. off yeah it's off the main road so you have a little soy you will see that in the video you go inside the little soy mm -hmm. and you will be surrounded by paddy fields if it's uh, planting season so what can you say about our food Richie well the food was just so excellent guys the service is fast and the food it's like a very well prepared as well and the price is, is just fair, you know? Yeah, it's just right. And yeah, it was just right. And what we spent how much? We spent 550. 550 baht. But the presentation is really good. Mm -hmm. And it hits the palate straight away. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like authentic. Yeah, authentic yeah. Thai. Yeah, it's, exactly. But, yeah. It, you know, if you are in, in Thailand, you always uh, taste the, the spiciness of their food yeah. because that's part of their. The culture and their the way they prepare the food. Yeah. 
they said if it's not spicy, it's not alloy. It means it's not, it's not delicious or yeah, tasty. tasty. So, but anyway, we're, we're having fun here. Uh, this is our second time. So we enjoy the whole thing. Where we're sitting right now, guys, is on the very top of the cafe, mm -hmm. which is on the other side of where we ate a while ago. So, if you will notice, these are two buildings and there's a plank in the middle. So, you can either go to the cafe for just sweets and drinks or you want to go to the restaurant for food. To Misa House, guys. This is a very good cafe here just in the Sukhumvit Road because, guess what? We had our 10th year anniversary in this cafe. So, as you will see, the footage of the food is good, the drinks are good, but the thing is, you need to pay first in the counter so that you will have fast service. And what do they have here? They also have the Misa House bed and breakfast. So, that's why we chose this one as number one because they also can accommodate guests. If you want to have your special event in here, then this is a good place to be. Right, Richie? Yeah, correct. And the reason is because it's a very intimate place. You can have an intimate wedding here. You can have an intimate anniversary and a birthday here. They have good food, guys. Mm. Uh, mostly Japanese-inspired, but more um, fusion like more modern take of the Japanese food. That's why we love this cafe. Here's one. So guys, if you like contents like this one where we go cafe hopping or food tripping, just leave a comment below mm -hmm. and we can accommodate or do as much as we can right. of your request. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and you can also share this video so that others will be aware too when they come over to Banchang how cool this place is. Richie? Yeah. Right, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for tuning and for subscribing to this channel and we hope to see you again on our next journey we don't know where we'll be but um, we're looking forward to the, our next uh, vlog so stay safe stay healthy god bless peace so it's a wrap so let's go